an affordable digital grand made by one of the best manufacturers, the Kawai DG30, brand new for 2020. We're really excited to show you guys all it can do. Check it out. Hi, this is Ted with Alamo Music Center in downtown San Antonio, Texas. I'm Patrick Marr. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channels, check out our other videos, sign up for notifications, leave us some comments. We love to interact with you guys. Ted? I walked in and I saw, hey, what is this? It's beautiful. It's really cool. There's a couple manufacturers who do this, but they take a digital piano in their line and they say, let's expand on this and let's make it Baby Grand-esque. In this, in this case, it's called a digital grand, that DG. Sometimes they're referred to, I guess this is a baby baby grand or a mini grand. A mini baby like grand. A mini Everything comes, fun size is what we were fun talking size, about. Fun size, yeah. Just, uh, yeah. It's, it's really cool. It's, uh, it brings a whole bunch right in a small, tiny package, which is cool. And like I said earlier, it's something that can ship to a door. Um, a lot of people nowadays, 20, here we are in 2020, people are ordering things online like never before because of COVID, because of pandemic, and it's safer to stay inside and order from from your phone or from your computer, have it shipped to you and you set it up. Kawhi you could with do a, that with this. Yeah, Kawhi with a very timely release, releases something that can ship in a freight box and be put together by two people. It looks beautiful, it's a baby grand piano. It could fit in an office, it could fit in a music studio, it could fit in a whole bunch of places, an apartment. Really has some elegance to it. I love the wood design on the inside. Uh, we're gonna show you guys a whole bunch of pictures of this because we're really excited about it. And it's a lot smaller than some of the other manufacturers have made. So a lot of the complaints that we've heard over the years is, oh, I want that baby grand, but I can't fit it in my house. We show them something maybe a little bit smaller. There's uh, Yamaha has a, a really good one, um, the CLP665. This actually comes in a little bit smaller. So just giving you options in this product line that more and more people are going towards. This is about less than half the price of a, of a brand new baby grand piano. Just an amazing offering here. Ted, over the, the years... there's. Endless amount of applications. The first thing I thought of is this would be cool to have in an apartment, in a home, uh, kind of like if you have a two-story house, this might even fit. I had some people one time wanted something to put on their landing because it was kind of like in the center of the house. You could kind of, and it was probably sonically the best place to put a piano. So they, they had one of those Yamaha ones that they put on there. But what I noticed about this is playing it is that it, it, it plays great. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's like an awesome keyboard in there with really good response. Yeah, action. and so what they've done over the years, digital pianos have increased what, the, what their offerings are. Um, in this case, what I was when I was looking at the specs, I was like, this is really the, the CN39 from Kawhi put into a, a, bigger, a bigger body, put in with a little bit cabinet design, polished ebony, things that aren't available on the CN39, but things that people love about the CN39, that RH3, which is the responsive hammer three okay. action, an incredible, like you were saying, it feels. Yeah, it plays great. It's built actually so that the keys never wobble. It's springless. It, it does a couple extra things that make that action highly sought after. I know a couple other manufacturers. You you can feel the keys. You can feel the mm -hmm. action with Kawhi. They're always trying to produce the best they can at every price. Realistic point. action. Mm -hmm. And 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 I think it's important to realize the benefits of a digital piano when you're thinking about is this digital grand going to be right for me. Do I ever need to tune a digital piano? No. no, that's one of the biggest benefits. Like you were saying, if you need to put something outside, there's there's bars, restaurants here in San Antonio, and they'll have a digital piano that they can just pick up with two people and move it out onto the patio, move it back in. Something like this where it's lightweight, it's beautiful, it has that, that top that opens up like a baby grand. It feels like an elegant the, item. The ambience is there and you know the 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 kind of element of class that a grand piano brings mm -hmm. to a place is there as well with this, which is what I really, really like. And like you said, when they can bring it in and out, it's just one of the flexibilities of digital instruments is that it's not always just a grand piano. I mean, this has other sounds in it. It's got electric piano sounds, digital uh, sounds in it, strings, and all kind of things. So it's a, it's a wonderful instrument. Yeah, and like you said, over 350 sounds in this, organs, digital pianos, really cool, cool functionality. You can also record with it. This has been, and, th and this 
category, that digital grand category, is an ever-growing category for us, and I'm sure for around the country, it really offers versatility. So you might not have the space for the baby grand, but you want it. Mm. You don't want to spend all that money on an acoustic instrument that you have to maintain Correct. for people who come and play piano every once in a while at your house. It really has a whole bunch of options for you, uh, and it feels great, sounds great, looks great. I'm really excited to let you guys hear what it sounds like because it has that Shiguru Kawai action or Shiguru Kawai piano sample in there, the resonance, the 19 parameters that you can become the tech the technician on. We're really excited to show oh, you guys that. Um, and Ted's gonna play through those. We're gonna give you some different samples of the pianos and how you can really versatility and how you can make it yours. Um, so we're gonna check out some sounds right here and let us know what you guys think.
Well, that's a lot of sound for a, a mini or a baby baby grand. The, um, a lot of sound come out of that thing, and it plays and it responds just really, really well. I enjoyed it. Yeah, no, it sounded wonderful. I, I really enjoy that. It kind of fills the room like a baby grand would. The, the open speaker cabinet really helps with the projection. It's, it's beautiful because it's tiny. And uh, we were talking about the size, 34 inches in depth. Um, what did you think about the controls? I love the controls, and I love the buttons on it, too. It's real easy to go instead of having to, you know, like a touchscreen. Mm -hmm. uh, over a touchscreen, I like buttons. That's because I, I play a lot live, and it, it's a lot easier to hit something that responds to you instead of having to keep looking at the screen. That's just, that's just a personal take on live performance when other people are looking at you and you're trying to set your thing up. So benefits of a bar, restaurant, looking for that perfect, smallest baby grand or smallest piano. Oh, this piano. would fill the spot. Absolutely. So it has the audio out. You can really run this thing on a stage. If you're if you're a restaurant owner or if you're a bar owner or if you're looking for something really fun for your house, this has kind of an entertainment. You, you could pick it up, move it around, try it in different spots and see see what works really, really well too. So it's just really a neat, a neat instrument. We're really excited because it's smaller than some of the competition. It kind of fits in its own category. Kawhi, known for a great action, a great sound. They make beautiful grand pianos. Fun to play. Very fun to play. Uh, just a really interesting instrument. We're going to see how it does in the next couple of years. I think it's going to be a staple of the Kawhi line. Um, this is the first DG that we had seen from Kawhi, that digital grand line. But beautiful. I, I, one of the features I want to point out is that wood finish on the inside. A lot of the competitions, what they'll do is just have a mesh over it. and they don't, mm -hmm. mesh. And, and just it kind of brings it as a full round to, hey, this is a grand piano again. This is a piano, this is wood, this is natural. Uh, and so just a, one of my favorite features of the design, beautiful polished ebony, a beautiful, small, compact body, um, but we really just love it. Let us know what you guys think if you've played them before. Um, it, again, it's very similar to that CN39, just in a different cabinet combination, still has that 40 watts of output, uh, just a great instrument. So let us know what you guys think and if you've played it before and let us know if you have any questions. You can find us online again at almomusic.com. Ted Barsalu, I'm Patrick Marr. Thank you guys for watching.